Hey everyone and welcome to another SEO tutorial. This one is about plagiarism and how it hurts your SEO, your ranking for your website. Okay, so first let's talk about what is plagiarism. Well, if you remember handing in a writing assignment back when you were in school that was like copied from a library book and your teacher gave you no credit for that assignment because she realized it was just copied, it was plagiarized. Well, Google was no different. So Google knows when text on a website has been copied from somewhere else. So let's check for plagiarism. So if we go to a site like Wikipedia and we just highlight some text on the screen, because a lot of people obviously will plagiarize from Wikipedia. If we highlight that, then right click and then select the search Google for. When we click that, this comes up. All right, we'll see the text here is in the search bar. First thing we'll see, which makes sense, is the actual Wikipedia article that was written. And next, and I apologize for the blurring here, We'll try and keep the, the guilty from being exposed. And we'll see that right here, Google goes ahead and shows us in a bold text, the exact same text that we search for. So what's that telling us? Well, that's telling us that this site has that same exact uh, sentence. So it is plagiarized. It has been taken from Wikipedia. So this is something that you can do to test for your own site. If someone else has written your site, if someone else has written articles for you, right, go to your own site, go ahead and grab a couple sentences, highlight them, right click, and then see what comes up in the search results. If you see that there are a lot of sites that have that same sentence or sentences, then you'll know, oh, we've got a problem here on our site. We have a bunch of duplicate content, a plagiarized content right and that is going to hurt your SEO but this is a simple way to test it go to the site highlight right click and search for it okay so what are the some of the common places where we we see that plagiarism has occurred well if you're hiring someone to write articles for you this happens quite a bit unfortunately right people instead of taking time to actually write a good article they will take the easy way out they'll go find an article that already exists they'll think it's in some obscure place when in reality Google knows right Google is going to know what has already been written what's plagiarized so you hire someone to write they write it for you you pay them only to find out that they have uh, stolen it from someone else they've copied and pasted right another place that we see this very common in our research when we SEO um, and do reviews for companies is that a website was built by a company by a webmaster which specializes in one industry right car repair industry does this quite a bit there are quite a few companies that say oh we specialize in car repair websites well they don't write all the unique content instead they just have their writers do it a couple times and then they'll just cut and paste articles we see this really common for big uh, sites it happens everywhere it also happens in doctors and lawyers but car repair industry is where we see this quite a bit all right, watch for prices and offers that are too good to be true. If someone's willing to write an article for $5, right, on Fiverr or for $10 in there, let's say they're writing a, a 300 word article, that can be really tedious to do. So watch for prices that are too good to be true. You can uh, expect for plagiarism there. Now, another one to, to expect and to watch for and this is something that uh, companies will do. It's not as often as it used to, but that's when multiple pages on the same site have the same content. So to give you an example, let's say that there is an article about brake repair, but they want brake repair to be found in a bunch of different towns. So they make a different page, let's say five pages, and they make the only difference on that page is the different town name. But the article is exactly the same. Well, Google sees this as even plagiarizing on your own site. So you don't want to do that. You don't want to create five pages that are all the same, have the same images, have the same text, the same articles, maybe even the same video. And they've only changed one thing, like the town name. That simply will not work. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of your money. And also Google can actually give you no credit or can actually ding you and take you down in rank because you are spamming or you are plagiarizing. Right? There are exceptions to this, 
and that's the use of the canonical tag or the no index tag, but that's very uh, technical, so we're going to skip the details for that. So what are some of the things to be careful of? When you're looking to build a new website or to update your website and you go to a company to do that, be 100% sure to ask them if the content that they are going to be putting up will be absolutely unique if they are the ones creating it, right? And, and if they will re, be reusing that for other sites in the future. You need to make sure that it is unique and the company that's building it for you will not reuse that content for other sites in the future. All right. Of course, you can avoid plagiarism by simply writing your own content. You're doing it, right? And or if you're hiring a reputable company that has the experience with this to create the content. Right. So in summary, if you have a site which should be ranking high for a set of keyword terms and it's not, well, the first thing you should do is check for the plagiarism on your site, like we talked about at the beginning of this, right? Go to the site, highlight it, right click and search for Google. Plagiarism is becoming a hotter topic because of Google's search algorithm update, which was called BERT, B-E-R-T, which happened in late October of 2019. All right, I hope this helps you as a simple way to increase your SEO, to check for plagiarism yourself, and to be able to replace that if you need it. Thanks, and I hope this helps.